Hello and welcome back to Mud Love Photon Flowers? I think it's flowers, not melodies. <laughs> I know there's the two and one of those come up and one of them has not. And uh, like I said, I'm going to come back to this in between various Let's Plays on occasion. Probably not going to do absolutely everything in it, but at this point, I'm still planning to come back to this every once in a while. Uh, for now, out of a just general desire to do it, I want to do before the cherry blossoms bloom. I do. I know it's a little bit longer, but I want to. <laughs> I don't really have enough time to properly start another series, so this is my... I, I want to properly do this one. I think I was told like, uh, I think I was told it was like four hours or so, so... Yeah. I want to do that. Yes, English. Always English. Thursday, February 7th. Skip my birthday, eh? Oh, give me a break. I'm doing it just fine. <sighs> Don't be such a stickler, glass rep. I need a... I need to adjust my microphone. I, it's lower than I thought it was going to be. The text. Uh, okay. There we go. You have to... S uh, why? Is it because you get the dust in the middle and it can't collect up by the corners? But yeah, just miss the corners. And other stuff anyways, if you're not just being, like, really meticulous about it. See? There you go again! Trying to pawn off your lifestyle onto me! I've got my own brand of common sense, thank you very much. I know, thank you. Thank your pardon! Hey, I am the victim here. She's the one who's always trying to start shit. Ohineri. <sighs> 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 Huh? Uh, don't you though? ゴミが落ちてるのに拾わない。真面目に掃除あれ。あなただって当番でしょ。伝ってるだけの人に言われたくないわ。うん。僕を見られても困るな。I'm just glad the yelling has gotten off of me. Shit, don't don't speak up. No one speak up. He's <laughs> just on going your way today, are they glass rep? Alright, sweet. Then I think we can call it a day. Let's bag it in, folks. Uh -huh. mm, I've missed this. Every time I come back to this game, it's like I've missed this. There's just an energy and a life to it that I you don't get in many other uh, visual novels. What do you want? Sheesh. Where the hell did that come from? Uh, no. This is sexism. 
私はただ恋人の前で賄賂の器を晒して男として恥ずかしくないのかなって思っただけ Ever since the new semester began, she's been using this as leverage to assert her authority over me. No, 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 no. Well, you weren't paying attention, so. Oh, no. Oh, my god. I have the worst friends. Why do you have to make everything sexual? And how the hell would you know, huh? It's not like you've seen it or anything. On what basis? I honestly didn't take it as penis, but okay. You're looking at something, he's facing my own. You witch. I'll make you pay for this. <laughs> are you talking about- are we still talking about the penis? <laughs> Don't talk about our private life with these harpies! We do! It's in my house! Are my parents back yet? Oh my goodness. Hey, I am not a part of this. Alright, fine! I'll do the damn cleaning! God! Shut up! Silence! Maybe you should pay more attention! And welcome back to Muffle, everyone! Oh my goodness. I can take a trick. <laughs> wow. You don't say. Is that new? Ah, nothing so much. Just... Yeah. This truck really just grinds my gears sometimes. I'm not sure how it slipped out, but it seems like everyone in class knows to be an eye or an item now. I mean, I can see how they might assume that, since May moved back home and all. Did she? Okay. But as far as they know, that could have just as easily been for family reasons. It has been a while since I went through extra, so forgive me if I'm forgetting details on exactly how the plot played out. They can't know for sure that it was because Samika and I got together. Not unless they heard it from the horse's mouth. And yet for some reason, they're all treating it like an accepted fact. Especially Class Rep and Yuka-sensei. They just love to use it as ammunition to blackmail or embarrass me. Every little thing I say or do, they have to make some snarky whip about it. It's like they get off on tormenting me. Who's them? Tell them what. We are not doing that. It'd be way too embarrassing to tell them now. If we take the initiative and announce it right away, that'd be one thing, but... I'm not giving them the satisfaction after they've been teasing us about it relentlessly. I mean, look at yourself. You're blushing up a storm just from thinking about it, trust me. 
And it only teases us more if we did that. Wow, well, they're mainly teasing me, but okay. Come on. You can't tell me it wouldn't be embarrassing to start acting like a couple after all this time. See? Maybe this wouldn't be such an issue if Samiki and I hadn't grown up together. We've been joining at the hip ever since we were kids. Always screwing around and busting each other's chops. So, the thought of being in a deeper relationship with her just... feels weird to me. I'm sure it'd be a lot less awkward if I were going out with someone I didn't already think of as a good friend. Like, someone I tend to argue with a lot, for instance. Don't think about it more. <laughs> no, don't think about it more. No, stop thinking about it. Oh, God, no way. Oh, it was Okay. Uh, no, sorry. I, I just had a really terrifying thought, that's all. Why the hell would my mind pick class rep of all people? I must be sleep deprived or something. I should go home and get some rest. Uh, yeah. Well, there's the penis and the vagina and all that sort of fun stuff, so I mean, a little has. P Patui? Well, don't say shit like that. Especially when it's not even true. I can think of a few things we definitely didn't used to do. You want to go right now? Are my parents back? Come on. More? As in... I mean, what else is there? Can we go all the way? Your... Your... Your inner animal. What does that mean? Her inner animal. Does she just mean like no clothes, just skin on skin? I mean, I guess that would be a bit more sensual, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea if this is more quote unquote sex scenes or whatever. Samika. arranged you really want it that rough <laughs> is this gonna not be sexual when it comes down to it Samia I I gotta slow down or else I'm gonna Now it's not gonna be sexual. <laughs> oh, so, so the so rough that you just like pile drive her head into the headboard is not worthy of going beyond the sort of innocent romantic stuff. Now this needs the fancy music in the different background. Are are you sure about this, Mika? <laughs> <laughs> P 
<laughs> I don't know how to do this. Stop! Stop! That is enough. I think it's a little too early for that stuff, don't you? What do I mean? Dude, come on! I mean, we still... You know? Done it. Once. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed it too, but... I'm surprised that you're asking so bluntly. Wait. Date. そうだよ。クリスマスの時1回だけじゃない。デートしたの。The movie theater if I remember correctly. Uh, uh Samika? Nani? You were talking about Date ideas. Was I just phasing in and out and only hearing the worst parts? But. But the. What, what was all that about getting in touch with your inner animal? And getting knocked around so you need a neck brace. Right. I'm getting wrapped up tight. That's... I suppose I, I'm not familiar with that one. You dumbass. Don't mislead me like that. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Why else would you feed around the bush like that? Oh, come on! Something we've only done on Christmas? Obviously, my mind's gonna jump to the night before! Eh? Uh-oh. I revealed everything. Uh... Never mind that. Anyway, I guess you've got a point. We really haven't been on a day day since the new semester began, have we? Yes. Oh! I can see the beta from here. Oh. Right back down. Okay. <laughs> I want you to contextualize everything you said like that. Why? <laughs> So me <sighs> Dead. Okay. Samika Yeah there. <laughs> I said it was too early. She's not answering. I was like actively against it even. <sighs> Just wanted to let her know that she dropped this. Sorry, little guy. He's after returning tomorrow. Oh well. Ah, I really screwed the bridge this time. I mean, I should have known better. There's no way somebody would ever talk so openly about anything sex-related. I must be more sexually frustrated than I thought. Great. This is just what I needed. As if things haven't already been awkward enough between us since then. You got a point, though, Samika. I really should have asked you on a second date by now. But I mean, 
They don't all have to be dates from now on, right? Can't we just go out and do stuff together like we always have? <sighs> I guess that's probably just a thing of the past, huh? No matter how you slice it, things are different now. Maybe it's just that I'm still too shy to ask you out on a date. As opposed to a simple excursion. I mean, there's a much deeper implication there. Like it's something you're expected to do if you're in a relationship. Which I am! Don't get me wrong though. I definitely understand that we can't keep treating this like a friendship. I know you want more out of this than that. And I don't know... And I don't want you to think that nothing's changed since we started going out. Though I... I know those words might ring hollow since I've yet to reflect them in my behavior. Well, I still can't really picture myself whispering sweet nothings in your ear or facing you in public. Ugh. I mean, I mean, it was right. I am a pretty pathetic excuse for a man. Don't get me wrong, though. I'm not having second thoughts about this. I mean, having to choose between you and Maya was one of the toughest decisions I've ever had to make. But I knew it had to be you. There wasn't a shred of doubt in my mind. I wasn't just going along with it to make you happy. Because I felt like I was obligated to pick you because I had rejected Mayhem. <sighs> I guess I didn't realize it'd be this hard to go from being childhood friends to lovers. I figured it all would have been downhill from here, but it's more like we just reached the summit. Only discover that it's a sheer drop on the other side. And now we're getting cold feet. <sighs> yep. That is pretty much what it boils down to. It's kind of like how we've had sex once, but I haven't done it again. It's not because either of us don't want to, I don't think. It's just that, for whatever reason, we can't seem to recreate that romantic atmosphere and get in that mood. I mean, it's just me, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure most teenage couples tend to have a lot more sex after their first time. And I mean, I'm still just as in love with you. So I'm not sure what the problem is. Because my libido definitely hasn't gone down either. But things feel way, way more awkward now that we've done it once. Maybe I'm just overthinking it, though. Could be that it didn't feel awkward at that time, because we were both just caught up in that heat of the moment. Hmm. We really are reflecting on this a lot. It was a pretty intense night. Maybe. Okay, Taku, maybe you should think a little bit more about the date part of it, yeah? <laughs> she seems slightly more concerned about that. I know her concern was probably more driven by the whole, you know romantic atmosphere and whatnot, but, you know, I think she was more focused on the date part of it. It was a pretty intense night, after all. We were still on an emotional high from having our feelings reciprocated, which probably made it easier to let go of our inhibitions. Maybe if we'd taken things more slowly and gradually worked our way up to sex, it wouldn't be so awkward. I mean, we dove straight into the deep end before we even learned how to swim. And now we've gone back to the kiddie pool again. Maybe the reason it feels so awkward to be around each other lately is because neither of us were emotionally ready for sex? Mm, yeah. That's probably it. One thing's for sure. If we ever want to have sex again, we're going to have to go back and do things the right way. Take it from the top and work our way there naturally. Until then, I'm just going uh, to have to keep my libido in check. Which is fine. It has been two months, hasn't it? Well, a month and a half. A little under a month and a half. Uh, man, why the hell am I overanalyzing this stuff? The old me never used to get all introspective about shit like this. I'm supposed to be the assertive go-getter type. What happened to me? Everyone else is already treating it like a relationship, but... I'm too afraid of being made fun of to even admit it. Ah, this sucks, dude. If I could just muster up a little nerve, I'm sure this would all work out just fine, but apparently I'm too immature. 
doesn't have that to me who's also a bit of a late bloomer when it comes to this stuff. I hate to say this, but uh, this relationship might just fizzle out on its own. Uh, it's not a good sign. It's... Certainly possible. <sighs> if I don't do something about it, that is. Okay. What are we going to do about it? <sighs> what a... What a familiar sound. Am I outside? Damn it, Sonico, you're so loud. Oh, for the love of God. Why do you stop that incessant knocking? When you mind with your ear-piercing voice, it's an extremely irritating combo. Mm hmm? Huh, she shut up. Nice. <sighs> this is how hardies are supposed to be. Sounds good. What happened? God, I'm such an idiot. Smiggy so comes to wake me up, and this is how I behave. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little bit in a daze, but yeah. Was nice just talking about how things need to be different now. Like what just happened? Smiggy's clearly been making an effort to be more agreeable since we started going out. She's not nearly as overbearing as she used to be. I mean, she agreed to five minutes. And my first reaction was, now I can sleep in a little longer. Am I trying to make her tell me? <sighs> right. No, I love starting the morning off on a somber note. Whatever, there's no time for this. I need to get going. So, hey, uh, Samika? Nani? You wanna go somewhere this weekend? Eh? I mean, it's about time we went on another date, right? You said so yourself. Easier to do these kinds of things in the morning. Don't have time to change your mind. Or sack yourself out that way. And wait until after school would be leaving the door open for another embarrassing fiasco with class wrapped in the gang. After which I'd probably lose my nerve. And since Monday's a holiday, we have three whole days to do whatever we want. Plus, the weather's supposed to be nice all weekend. And there's going to be a lot going on around town. Including special events at the amusement park and the aquarium. So, you can check those off the list. It's also going to be a big exhibit at the art museum. But I sort of highly doubt that's something some of you would appreciate. I know this is because I ran out to the convenience store last night to pick up this week's issue. Of the Yokohama Skywalker. You've heard of that before? I've even memorized a list of movie show times. Granted, I lost a little sleep doing all that research, but that's a small price to pay if it'll make something happy. Why is life? Life is life, why? No. What? Whoa, 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. What other plants? Why are you avoiding eye contact? Don't lie to me! In that case... I think I'm gonna be sick. You're seriously ditching me for her? What the hell, class friend? If you've already figured out that we're dating, then at least leave the weekends open for me. <sighs> and what day is that? Okay then, let's just go out on Sunday. Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. Uh, Monday then. That works, right? Why? Who is it this time? Miki <sighs> chan. What the hell, man? Can you just hang out with them all at once? Like what? What kind of important business? Oh, you're keeping a secret from me? Okay. Why, you little... The one time I actually put a lot of effort into planning something and you're gonna turn me down. Why you gotta ruin my perfect three-day weekend? I did? When was this? It must have been Monday or Tuesday, I guess. Come on, you're not just saying that. I never make plans that far in advance. See? You should have seen this one coming. Now come on, at least we have one day for me. I will add on, as me being Echo, please. Uh, fuck. Uh, come on, don't scowl at me. I mean, sure, what she's saying is right in principle. In fact, I'm the one being unreasonable here. It's just that I was already so committed to this idea, it's hard for me to give up on it. Uh, right here. Oh, what? You dropped it yesterday. Did he not even realize? Remember a little while ago, when I said that it's weird that he's dressed like Santa all year round. And he said maybe I should buy you a new one. Uh. Well, how about we go find one together? I'll buy it for you as a present. Hmm? No, I meant this weekend. Why, are you committed the entire day? For all of these. Can you really not, like, just go out shopping with that with me for, like, a couple hours? Oh, come on. I'm sure you can freaking just somehow. Money. Oh, God, come on. Look, I'll even go explain things to class rep or whoever. Damn it. <sighs> what the hell, man? You're the one who said you want to go on more dates. Guilt trip? That's how you're interpreting this? Here I am, trying to take this relationship more seriously. Call that mature! Just what is this important business of yours, anyways? The boyfriend, girlfriend, how, how are you? Is it so private that you can't tell me? Damn it, this is starting to piss me off now. I really shouldn't have to get down my knees and beg for you to spend time with me. Alright, fine. No date then. Happy. Oh, shut up. God damn it, dude. What a terrible way to start the day. Finally try to get out of my comfort zone and this is what I get. Oh, I guess I shouldn't take it out in some Mika. 
No, no, no! It's their fault for complaining about yesterday. All I did was take the initiative, and how did she respond? By calling me an immature, immature guilt tripper. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, I said. I didn't actually say it, but okay. Ah, uh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, I thought I told you to shut... Oh, shit. Ah. Why does this keep happening? Oh, hi, yo. Motherfucker. You motherfucking motherfucker. やっぱりあれ白金だったの?やさぐれた背中してるから誰かと思ったわ。あ、あ、あ。ファキングマニアック。おはよう、白金。It's actually been a pretty shit morning for me, thank you. 大丈夫?タケルちゃん。私運転には自信あるのよ。安心しなさい。That's the fact that you fucking what does that have to do with anything? No. Hmm. じゃあ、その辺すっ飛ばして別れたとか。そんなことありません。なだね。卒業まであとわずか。マリモに残された時間は残り少ないのに。Oh, <笑> for your information. あ、わかった。うん。何がですかそっかそっか。ごめんね、鏡。はあ。白金の体力削っちゃったら夜にハッスルする分がなくなっちゃうもんね。ああ。ね。はい。Could you not that's an extremely touchy subject for us right now. Somebody stop this woman. Well, that's nice of you, but, uh... Uh. It's... It's not worth it to me, God. Just let it go. We try to fight it. It'll only make it worse for ourselves. All she wants is reaction. Woman beings on our discomfort. So that me. Did I actually... Is, is, is there a problem here? Because I'm not saying these things out loud. I'm not. She's just intuiting them. Okay, so, okay, so we're close enough that she knows what I mean, basically. Be strong, Samika. <laughs> and if we are, it'll be your fault for holding us up. <sighs> yeah, let's just go. Hmm? What's wrong? Ah, oh, right. No, don't worry about me. We can just go on a date some other time. Have you watched this happen? I don't have the energy to be upset anymore. Maybe she did that on purpose in order to stop this. Like, it felt like we were actually on the path to breaking up. Wait, did Yuka-sensei do that on purpose just because uh, she saw us arguing? 
I mean, that's not the best way to go about it, but okay. Uh nah, I can't be. She gets way too much joy out of other people's misery to do that. No, oh, nothing. Come on, let's go. Uh. <sighs> oh, hi, I am Yuko Sensei. Now I'm just happy to have made it here alive. Ya lucky girl. Ignorance truly is bliss. Do not even start with me, glass rap. If you're really this concerned about our relationship, you would have left some room in her schedule for the two of us to actually work on it. Huh? Do not tempt me. Nah, forget it. I'm too exhausted to deal with you this morning. No use crying over spilt milk, I guess. Just remember that's my girlfriend you're hanging out with this weekend. When she could have been spending time with me. So whatever this important business is, it better be fucking worth it. Do I say that with eye contact too? Hi hi! Mina seki ni tsuite ne! Kirit! Ne! Chuck! I bet. Longer delay than I thought it'd be. Uh, right. Okay. I think that's enough cleaning for one day. Let's go home, Samiga. Are you fucking busy today, too? Today's Friday, so I suppose it is part of the weekend. Us? What's us? What? Oh, you didn't say a word about this this morning. Ah, I still feel crummy about how I handled that, so I was hoping to patch things up on the way home. Why must you sabotage our relationship at every turn? <sighs> right, because I already gave her shit about having plans this weekend. And then Yuka Sensei showed up, which only made things worse. Yep, I can definitely see why she didn't mention it earlier. Alright. So where are you guys going? Don't blush. Wait, why are you blushing? If, why are you even here? Alright, what the hell are you guys scheming? You definitely are. I just look at your face. You're definitely a troublemaker. I mean, clearly you are. Why else would you be joining forces with Ayamine? That doesn't help. Uh, no. That's not what I'm getting at. I mean, I get it would be weird for Samika to bring her boyfriend along for a girl's only excursion, but still. Don't tell me you're going. Don't tell me you're going. Don't tell me you're going. Huh. Am I? Am I being unreasonable here? <sighs> there are many ways that could happen. Wait. Huh? What if I said yes? What if I just said yes? All of you motherfuckers. Why am I being like this? Alright. This isn't really anything all that out of the ordinary. Am I? Being possessive? And is Amika appreciating that? I don't know, she's been smiling this whole time. 
The one thing I promised myself is that I'd never be in a relationship. Does it only upset me because I want to control her? <laughs> is that what this is? Am I so possessive that I get jealous now whenever she spends time with any uh spends time with anyone other than me? Even if it's just class rep in the gang. <sighs> Damn it. I'm probably the only one who didn't notice too. Everyone else must think I'm a total prick. The sound of my soul trying to claw its way out of my body. Ugh. I can't believe this is who I really am. This is so uncool. Music. Uh, everyone there is just staring at Zachary and he's just making like these really like expressive faces like oh my goodness am I being possessive? Is this what I really am? Oh no! It's like Shakespeare. どうしたの?言い返してこないなんて白髪ねくんらしくないわね。さっきから黙っちゃった。ねえ。ねえねえ、みんなどうしたの?新しい遊び。No. What have I done? This is a trap, isn't it? These sneaky little punks just set me up. Wait, may maybe not Makoto. He seems like he just sort of wandered in here, but the rest of them, they planned this. We haven't officially confirmed that we're dating yet, but just by getting frustrated and jealous over something that never used to bother me, I've all but confirmed their suspicions. Could be that this was their plan all along. We had a lot of free time lately in class. Have they spent all this time inspiring a secret plot to humiliate me? I. I. あら、何か言いたいことでもあるの？だったらはっきり言った方がいいわよ。ミキもそれがいいと思うよ。痩せなもんは体に毒。I hate. All of you. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do feel a little guilty for dragging this out so long and making a bigger deal than it actually is. I'm sure if I just told them right now, it would be a huge weight off my shoulders. Does she actually have plans this weekend? Was this all faked in order to get me to admit to this? But wait. You think I should just swallow my pride and get it over with to you? I've already made an ass of myself. So I should just spill the beans and let them have their fun. Nay, I say, so long as my name is Jiro Kane Takaru, I will never let them have their satisfaction. No, not at all. In fact, I have no problem with Samika hanging out with you guys. Nope. None whatsoever. <laughs> Why, whatever do you mean? I'm just being my perfectly normal self. Now go on! Get out of here. <laughs> Have fun, you guys! Whew. I am. I, they were just trying to give me a perfect excuse to go ahead with it and get out of the way. You know, you guys. Uh, uh, you guys don't know Tiger well enough. Uh, you really should just make it so that you're not fucking with him. Make it so that he feels comfortable revealing it. And then make fun of him afterwards. So he'll never trust you again. Christ is averted. Well, for now at least. Though, from the way Samiga was acting, she did get very disappointed when I didn't. I had to wonder uh, if she put them up to this. Yeah, that's probably it. I mean, she did try to plant the idea of telling everyone my mind yesterday. And I was not very receptive. And since most girls seem to agree that... 
It should be the guy's job to take the initiative on these sort of things. Maybe she enlisted their help as a backup plan. Hmm, but wait. That still doesn't explain why she's hanging out with him this weekend, does it? I got the impression that those plans were made a while ago. I mean, I would say it's pretty obvious, uh, pretty obvious that she told them already. And that's why it's so obvious. Where it's just like, Samika told them, and it's like, why hasn't Takaru said anything then? It's like, hmm. And then I just start getting teased about it. It's like, <laughs> all that sort of stuff. So what on earth could they be up to? Oh, let's see. I feel as though if it's something that Samika is hiding from me, then probably it has to do with me. Maybe that's me being optimistic about Samika uh, and her current perception of our relationship. I feel as though this is the teenage jealous boyfriend <laughs> arc at the moment, though. Uh, so, yeah, something's definitely not right here. It must go deeper than this. This can't be their true endgame. It's probably just the first step in a much larger mission. Maybe it would have ended and I would have time to go on a date with her if I would have admitted it there. Maybe. Yes. And whatever that mission is, it must have something to do with me. Maybe. Now that Takaru, jealous boyfriend, seriously thinking that, I'm gonna go with no, probably not. Looks like I <laughs> Looks like I do not have a choice. I'm gonna have to bust out my epic stuff skills. I'll tail them from a safe distance, do a little slithing, and blow the lid off this conspiracy. You think of me, you're looking immature now, Takaru. Imagine being caught, like, stalking Samiga during her, like, days out with her friends. Imagine, oh my god, Takaru. <laughs> So far, so good. They're just walking along without a care in the world. Totally oblivious to my presence. Oh, I suppose we're talking about today, at the very least now. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, Makoto. Oh, damn it, Makoto's good. He spun around in the blink of an eye. Did his animal with six, uh, six cents alert him that there's a predator, near, uh, predator nearby? I didn't count for him here. Hopefully he'll buzz off soon, or, or this will be a lot more dangerous. Well, I guess I knew he's got a pretty sharp sense, too. The IG discount, Thomas can't like instincts. Something to screw this, of course, by class, right? Well, I want to call it a sixth sense, per se, but ability to analyze the situation and make logical deductions is second to none, within that group at least. <laughs> Finally, a challenge worthy of my skills. This is just like Rubble Beer Squalid. Even Squalid Drake doesn't get many A-rank missions like this. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is, this is hurting my throat a little bit. Oh my god, I need to take a drink of water. I dare say, they even expected me to try and follow them like this. They're just pretending not to notice they can lure me to another trap, aren't they? Well, they're not going to make a fool out of me. The best option here would just be going away and crying at home a little bit. I'll just have to smart them somehow. The only question is... Shh, be quiet! Damn, that was close. Almost failed the mission before I even started playing. <laughs> I need to... Oh my god, Taku is fucking crazy! <laughs> that was a crazy trap on their part. I need to be more careful. I didn't give him away my position, did I? Wait, where the heck did they go? Damn it. How did they shake me off so fast? Quiet, you go. I do have two hands. Hmm? Wait, Yuka sensei? Oh my god. Why are you still trying this? Huh? Oh! God, sorry, Mimichan! Uh. Mimichan? Wait, what the? Huh? 
人工呼吸でもしてあげれば、uh, wait, what? You just casually almost let very much on die. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening? Ah, that hurt. What the hell, Yuka Sensei? Why did you kick me into her? Oh, please, that was like five seconds tops, and that actually might have been too long. I, 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 I mean, I can't really argue with her there. If she hadn't stopped me, I, 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 I could have killed Marimo chan. You go through so much abuse, don't you, Marimo? Oh my goodness. That. Wow, okay. Uh. You alright? My bad, Rima chan. Maybe that would be appro appropriate right now. Yeah, why did I do that? Well, I won't disagree on that concept. Technically, her. I mean, the answer would be that she's not putting out enough to quench my libido, but. That has a different reason behind it than you're implying. Will you please stop? Well, I wouldn't. I, I would take it. Okay, now this is just getting ridiculous. それにしても白金、言った通りですよ。そんなにわつ。少し休んだら体力回復したでしょ。さすが若い若い。これで夜も安心ね。ああ、何の話？あい、あい、あい、あい、あい、あい、あい、あい、あい、あい、あい、あい
pierce the skin. Ah! Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll look wonderful on here or there, that's my opinion. Uh oh. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I knew it! You blackmailing witch. You know I'm in the doghouse with Samika already. She's using me as leverage from her emo? What the hell? Does this woman think the entire world revolves around her? Did I say that out loud? I didn't! You're telepathic now, too! Am I really? How is this working? How do I know what I'm saying out loud or not? Damn it! Why do all my plans keep backfiring on me today? It's gonna be. This is all part of Class Rep's scheme. I think. Oh god! This fucks with people's head, this fucking alarm. It's not so bad for me, but... <laughs> I've seen so many comments! And this whole stealth mission was right from the beginning. No way. No way! Drake! Drake! Jeez. 